Okay, this is going to be sharing and permissions and visibility settings for Google Docs and really any other file in Google Drive. So going right from Google's website, it says, first thing you want to do is go to Google Drive, find the file you want to share, and then click the share button. So let's do it. Let's create a file called uh, May 2020 sharing. Okay. And when you're in Google Docs, you click the file like that and you click the share button up here. And when you click that share button, these two windows pop up. This is what's new. It looks a little different. There's a get link window and there's a share with people and groups window. Uh, you can also right click and click share. The same thing happens. Or lastly, if you go into the document itself, most people share this way, you can click the share button here. And these are the two windows you're looking at. This is sharing with individual people, and this is visibility settings with the link. So let's start with sharing with individual people. Uh, currently, no one can see this document. However, let's say we wanna share with one person. Type your email address in. It has to be a, a G Suite or a Gmail email. And uh, here's the option to either email them or not email them. If you uncheck the box, they will still get the document in their shared with me part of their Google Drive. If you check this box, you can leave an email. Um, they will get an email in addition to just getting the file in their Google Drive. So we're going to leave it unchecked. And now there are three options. There are can view, can comment, can edit. We're going to start with can view. I'm going to click share. And now we will get the documents in our shared with me file. You might have to press refresh once. And there it is, it just appeared. Open that up. And as you can see, we can't edit, we can't comment, but we can see the file. Okay, so that's what a viewer can do. Now let's look at what a commenter can do. To change it, go from view to comment, click save. It may take a few seconds. Go back into the document. Now we're going to refresh the document. And now all of a sudden, we still can't type on the document. Well, actually we can type, type on the document. It's called a suggestion. We're not permanently changing the document. But if you highlight and you press this comment button, This is good to use with students if you like to comment on their work. You can also suggest things, like say I wanted to delete the word is. If I press the delete button, it really shows as a comment. And the original owner of the document, this is what they see on their side. Let's say they don't like that suggestion, they do that. But you can still see the comment. <coughs> so that's what a commenter can do. And then an editor can collaborate in real time with any other editor. And we'll put this in a different font just to show you get back to the original owner of the document there you go some other things you should know about sharing when you click this 
and you're sharing with individual people, understand that right now only these two people can share the document. If you click right here, you can also give someone temporary access. They can only comment and view. You can do commenter or viewer, and you can tell, you can uh, set when it expires. That means after Friday, June 5th, they will no longer be allowed to comment on this document. Another thing you can do is make someone the owner. If you do that, um, you might be able to lose the ability to change sharing settings. And also, you can only make someone the owner if they're in the same domain as you. Oftentimes, if you're changing domains, not all the time, it depends on the settings, but many times you can't change ownership across domains. Sometimes you can. Now, Speaking of those settings, if you click up here, editors can change permissions and share. If I uncheck that, that means an editor cannot invite other people to edit or view the document and cannot share the document. If I leave it checked, that means editors can do that. This one says viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. If I uncheck it, that means no one can download, print, or copy the document just because they can view it. Only owners get these settings. Okay, so even though it says Malik Walsh is a editor, if I click the advanced button here, Hold on one second. As the owner, if I uncheck editors can change permissions and share, you will see what that looks like on the editor side. So here's uh, someone who just has edit access to the document. If you try to share the document, you can't do it now. You have to ask the owner to change sharing settings. Okay. So those are the ways you can share a document with someone. Viewing, commenting, and editing. Also, for visibility permissions or quote unquote, get the link, there are more options here. Basically, right now, it's restricted. The only two people in the world that can see this document are these two people. But if you change that to anyone with the link, that means anyone with this link will be able to see this document because it says viewer. If you wanted anyone with the link to edit the document, you click edit. Anyone with the link to comment on the document, you can click comment. And then you can simply copy the link and paste it. Paste it into an email, paste it into a URL address, anywhere on Google Classroom, on a Facebook post, anywhere where you can paste the link and that person who clicks the link will be able to view it. <clears throat> so anyone with the link can view, anyone with the link can comment, anyone with the link can edit. And this middle one right here, this is gonna say your school address. If you have, um, if you're using G Suite, if you're using Gmail, it may not say that. And this would just be the domain. Anyone within your school district will be able to view, will be able to comment, or will be able to edit. And uh, you can also allow them to search for the file or not allow them to search for the file. People within your domain. So 
Google changed the way this looks in May of 2020, but remember, it's the same concept, just looks a little different. Now, one last quick thing. This is a slow rolling update, so some of you still may see the old uh, version of how to share. So I'm going to leave those videos up there for now. This is what the old version looked like. You had to click advanced and you had to click this change button. Um, but this is the new version being rolled out as we speak. I hope this video explains everything. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope everyone's staying safe out there.